Hey there everyone, Thaish here, back again with another video, and in this video, we'll be making one more card. No, it's not a repetition of the card that we finished up in the last video, but rather an extension to designing the cards. Now, one of the key fundamentals of bringing the card in your application is to provide the touch controls. Users should be able to touch on some buttons or the card itself, and we can have some feedback on that touch uh, control. Maybe you want to take him onto another screen, maybe you want to take him onto a certain link, maybe on the card itself there could be a button. So we'll be exploding a little bit about the linkings and the touch control along with the card. So it will be a great repetition of the card so that we have a revision, as well as we'll explore a tiny bit new. I call this as a Maya concept, mostly advanced yet acceptable. It's a very famous teaching concept as well as a uh, general concept being used by Spotify as well. I have a full video on that, search for Maya and with Hidei Chaudhary, you'll find that. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on. So what we want to do and explore in this video is a little bit exploration can be done on, if I remove this, uh, the first one is linking. So there are linking libraries and linking examples that are available here, that how you can open up a URL in the React Native app, because this is something that you'll be doing quite a lot. And what are the schemas that you can use? Like for example, you can open up some of the mail clients, you can open up some of the web browsers and a whole lot of things. So we'll be taking advantage of this. There's a nice documentation of how actually it handles the deep linking. In case you are looking forward to integrate deep linking, this is the documentation you should be studying about. These days you might be seeing, if, in case especially if you are in India, that uh, your application says that, hey, there is a phone pay logo or Paytm logo. And through these deep linking, you, you can open up another application as well for payments and stuff. This is exactly how this is being done. So make sure you study about these deep linking and all of that. We won't be going that much in depth, but this is the resource that you should be looking forward. Now, apart from this, we'll be studying one more thing, which is a, a fairly recent addition to this one, but not that, that recent. Uh, this is touchable opacity. Uh, previously, it used to be pressable, uh, but pressable has different options and different settings. We will be going with the touchable opacity. What it does is you have to less, being less dependent on the styling. Whenever a button is being touched, it automatically changes its styling, make it a less like form of to uh, touchable, uh, reduces the opacity, all of things are being handled automatically. So this is the one that we'll be going through. There is not too much of the props available here, like active opacity, styles, next focus, forwards, and all of that. You can definitely go ahead and read about them. That's not really that bad. Now let's go back and try to create an action card this time. So in the components, right click a new file and we'll be calling this one as action with just one C, action card and TSX of course. <clears throat> there we go. RNFS, yep, that is nice. So now that we have an action card, I'll just save this and obviously we'll try to bring this card in app. So there we go. <clears throat> So there we go, we have an action card, just like that, and should be available to us. There we go, <laughs> a little bit difficult to find, but yes, I assure you, there is an action card at the bottom here. Very difficult to find and look, but it is there, it is there. Now, I'll just minimize this because we will need it in a little bit later on. Right now, we just want to focus on the action card. Now, obviously, we'll be bringing up all these stylings and stuff, but we will also be creating a couple of functionalities as well. Okay, so this is the simple action card. Let's go ahead and create a simple function. We haven't done this. We have been focused majorly on styling, but along with styling, now let's also handle some of the parts. So what we can do is let's create a simple method which says open website. It doesn't do much. It's really the basic, but what it accepts is a parameter. The parameter is simply a website link that you have to pass on. This should be of type string. Now, again, defining this type is not really compulsory, but since we have the TSX, I would like to take an advantage of a control of my data type. Not really compulsory, you can avoid this totally, but I like to have it. Then further down the road, what you really want to do? I want to use this, uh, this thing which I just studied known as linking. You cannot directly go ahead and use it. You have to first import that, that hey, I'll be using this. So this is available here in the React Native. And this is known as linking. There we go. Once you have this linking, then this linking can be used. Linking. And if I go back further on to studying the documentation, I just showed you that there is linking. And in this linking, you have a lot of examples of how you can open the deep links, how you can handle the links, inbuilt URL, 
there are a lot of methods that you can go ahead and work on with that. For example, there are methods like send intent. The intent is something that you send onto another screen. Uh, there is can open URL, add event listener. You can also use the deep linking. There's a lot. There's a lot. We can have a full blown section on this. Uh, right now, I'm just interested in simply uh, open URL. That is all I'm worried on. I'll click on this. It says, hey, static open URL. And this is the string and it returns you a promise. So I know everything what is required, at least for this particular uh, functional part of it. And I can just go ahead and say open uh, URL. This is the one that I want to use. And I'll just say, hey, here is your website link that you are looking up forward. That's it. Now, right now, I haven't used it anywhere, but the function is available to me. And later on, obviously, I will surely use it. All right. Now, in this video, I would also like to finish it up my styling part of this because this is the functionality part. But my view actually goes in here. So let's go ahead and work on with that. So I'll just go ahead and add the styling just like I did previously. Uh, this is really boring part, but I still have to do it. Styles dot heading text. There we go. I would come up here and we'll say there is a heading text and that's an object. There we go. All right. So we have an action card. Now, apart from this action card, uh, what we're going to do is hmm, let's call it as blog card blog card we, we will style it of course we'll style it now apart from this let's go ahead and grab a view just like we did in the previous one so we'll be saying hey let's grab a view and inside this view oops didn't want to copy paste this wanted to copy paste this copy this and paste it up here and uh, this one needs to be an array because there are a couple of properties you know me how i do the styling i take this as card and then put up a comma and say styles dot elevated card. In case you want to do elevation, that's fine. In case not, that is also fine. And there we go. And we have elevated card. There we go. Should be all happy now that we have these cards. Uh, now, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, this time we, we saw in the very first documentation or the preview of the card that this time we want to have an a text at the very top of the card, then the image and then all the text that we want to have. Again, this is really nothing magical. This is just a basic text that we put up here. So we can go ahead and put up a text and we can say, uh, or let's just wrap this up inside a header container so that we can have a little bit more. So let me just grab this, cut this out and have a view and inside this view further we'll have the text this one we will be calling this one as simply copy that this is just to make sure that i have further more control of selecting the element i'll be saying this is my uh, heading container and here i can go ahead and paste this and i can say this is my header text header text there we go obviously need to copy them paste this up here a little bit of a manual labor but there's no escape from it all right so we have a header text now what do we want to write in this text uh, i'll just hit an enter and i'll say uh something like what's new in javascript 21 or something like 21 it's, this means it's es12 I made a video about it a while ago that how this is going to be there. Now, once this is done, so this text is actually inside this view. So I'll just move it a little bit. Uh, and then further down this view outside this, I will love to have an image. There we go. And have a closing of the image. There we go. Now, of course, I know that this image need a source. We'll have just like this. And then we can have a URI just like this. And I do have a URI, which was actually a blog from the Learn Code Online that we wrote on the hash node, of course, the sponsor of the video, a big shout out to them. So this is the image that is coming up directly from there. And obviously we'll be providing some styling to them as well. So we can actually borrow these styles, copy that, paste it up here. And this one will be a card image. Obviously the image needs to be here. <clears throat> there we go and the only thing that we'll be providing is a height as of now just 100 just for the sake that it shows up and we have something to be available so there we go 
we have this uh, card available here but the source is right now not being visible let's try to hit a refresh on the metro builder there we go hit a refresh and there we go we are still having some issues in the card image don't worry we'll fix it there is a lot of learning that is going on right now just want to keep it as it is we will be working on this and i can put up a comma here save that all right so this card image will be coming up right now i just want to put up all the text so that we can actually talk about that and there is a tiny bit more uh, so let's just finish this i know the video is a little bit longer but at least let's have this one all right so the next step that we want to have is a, a card body and a container let's go just outside of this view so just below this image i'll go up here and i'll open up another view there we go and this view will be having not the card image style so let's copy this and paste it up here so this one is going to be simply a card body so we'll be saying body container of course need to copy this one thing that i have understood is once you do it enough of the times you actually start enjoying these stuffs okay now we are inside the container so we'll have some of the text this is where the some fun part you can learn a tiny bit more so this is my text and let me just copy and paste some text which is actually directly from the example okay but obviously we don't want this text to be uh, fully up here uh, just like this so what you can do is you can actually provide another prop to this one which is number of lines and you can say that i want only three lines to be there so it shrinks it up and gives you a dot 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 you can actually make it tiny bit more beautiful but just to prove the point that yes you can make n number of lines so that if user gives you more number of lines you can actually go up and this is the reason why I, I say to people that try to build more projects. These kinds of things, we didn't study it in the card one, but it's not like we didn't want it to, it to cover, but we learn all about them here. So this is nice. Okay, now we have this view is the uh, body container. And after that, we'll be having some footer container as well. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it up here. So this one is going to be simply footer container footer container and this time let's first copy this paste it like that there we go now we want to introduce a tiny bit more up here so this is a footer container but i don't want text inside this footer container i want to have something more which is something known as touchable opacity so first we need to go up here and bring it up here so this one is going to be touch able opacity the last one there we go save this and i would like to hit an enter usually i'll i'll rearrange that in a minute or outside when i'm not recording so there we go now what i can do is i can bring in touchable opacity and we'll just make it now you can do a lot of things with the touchable opacity for example you can self close it or you can close it like this and add a text element inside it that's exactly what we'll be doing so we'll be having a text and we'll be calling this one as simply read more and then further down the road we can provide a little bit of an on press onto this one this is just like a javascript on press event uh, almost similar and it, the action is also same and what we can do is we can pass on a callback function here just like this and then further down this road we can actually either pass on an argument here or we can just grab directly uh, open website open website just like this and pass on an article here or pass on a website link i do have a website link that we are going to pass it on up here there we go so I told you it's really simple the touchable opacity you have to just pass on on press and the text and that's all that's all it takes and notice here now we have this read more button this is not looking good right now, but it is actually the button that we have. If I click on this, it takes me onto the browser and opens up whatever the link I have given it to, to it. But there could be a lot more things that you can do. Like I told you, there is a lot of intents you can open up. There's a lot of deep linking that you can do. And this is all doable and super easy to do all of that. All right. And we also have some reusable things in our, in our example here. For example, I can just copy and paste this touchable opacity one more time 
And instead of read me or read more, I can just go ahead and say, follow me. And uh, what we can do is provide different uh, styling to this one. We'll definitely do this. But I can actually go ahead and provide a different URL. Let me go ahead and provide that. Instead of this, I can provide my Instagram URL to this one. Told you, it's really nice. Okay, so we have this. One more thing that is there is to add styling to this one. Uh, at least the text, let's style this one. So we'll just copy this one. Copy this here and here. So paste this and change this one. So this one is social links. I'll just use the same link and I'll give this as an assignment to you to change the different links like that. And I'll come back and I'll say social links just like that. All right. So not the beautiful and the prettiest of the work that we have done, but we have read me and follow me. Not looking good. Our image is also not loading. I understand that part. We'll definitely figure it out. We'll definitely I'll show you. But this is a good enough. We have understood a couple of new things which you can write article about, especially touchable opacity, the linking, opening of the intents, opening up of another apps, deep linking and a lot more. That's all what we'll be doing in this video. Let's catch up in the next one.